Hello, and welcome to my second ever series. A little bit different this time, we're going to be going with Resident Evil Zero. Again, that should need a little introduction. It was originally released in 2002 for the Nintendo GameCube, and re-released in 2015 as an HD remaster for PC, and again in 2019 for the Nintendo Switch. Today we're going to be playing the Steam version, the HD remaster from 2015. Uh, we will be using the PlayStation 4 controller connected up, so hopefully there won't be any connection issues there. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to handle the timing of the episodes, so I've got a timer set on my phone, but um, with it not being a game that all saves, we might have to stop in between the save points. But uh, anyways, without further ado, Let's get started. Um, a few uh, things to go through here. And I should point out that uh, I do actually have a little bit of experience with this game from the original 2002 GameCube release. Although, when I had a uh, quick uh, test recording session earlier, I uh, got to a certain point of the game very early on, only about 2-3 minutes in. And we guys, hang on, this doesn't seem very familiar, so for all I'm fairly certain I've completed it before. Um, my memory doesn't seem to want to recall it, as, uh, yeah, I'm not remembering some of the scenes that I've seen. <laughs> right, so, uh, we'll just go to the new game. Uh, we'll put it on easy. <laughs> Zero. Uh, wait, I'll turn it, control scheme, subtitles on, yep, that's all good. A Midwestern town in America, Raccoon City, a solitary island far off in the sea, Rockfort Island, an island that would become the second Raccoon City, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise umbrella was somehow involved, Little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. think so too. Yeah. Do about it. Hold off for a while. I wonder how those are react to this. Oh. So who on earth is that? <laughs> oh. as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. What's going on? Engine failure! Emergency landing! Check the current position and investigate the surrounding area. Captain, look! <gasps> K-9 
Captain. Hmm? What happened? Hmm. Court order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex lieutenant, 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoners to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone, let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. Well, the voice acting doesn't seem to be as bad as uh, the classic Resident Evil 1 for the PlayStation, at least. <laughs> Still, it uh, doesn't sound 100% great. to safety is shut. There is no turning back. Right, let's see. Uh, I'm a little unfamiliar with the controls, so if things uh, turn out a little bit weird, that's most likely why. <laughs> and now we've got the classic slow opening doors. <laughs> This is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo Team. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? The government has announced that we have set up Yeah. But as of two years ago, when a cellular plant was set up, the local government stepped in and took all the Um You might wanna move. <laughs> oh crap. Um Um why why won't let me move ah there we go. Oh just got him in time. Is he completely dead? What just happened? I, I thought they were dead. Right, uh, how do I reload this thing? Is it circle? Yeah, R1 and then circle in my case. Obviously it'll be uh slightly different uh button names of using the Xbox controller. <laughs> right, doesn't look like there's anything there, at least uh, unless I'm blind I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> right, uh, can we check this? There doesn't seem to be anything of use, okay. Um, Oh, is our first aid spray, I think. Yeah, well, take that. Uh, oh, that'll be bullets, I think. Yep, take the handgun ammo. And what's this letter here? Passenger's Diary. July 14th. Orders came from the boss today. Looks like we're in charge of investigating the remains of the Arclay Mountains Laboratory. We're moving in two groups. The initial group is assigned to start checking what's left of the abandoned experiment. July, July 16th. Unfortunately, the test production of BOW type Y139 had to be suspended because of this investigation. It's the same with type Y139. There's still so much we don't know about responses to the crusta crustacean T virus. There's a lot of interesting research left. Crustacean T virus. So, uh, with crabs and lobsters and stuff, I guess. Depending on the species and nurturing conditions, only minute doses of tea bring about remarkable changes in solidity, size, multiplication of internal toxins, and brain development. If these effects can be controlled, a powerful weapon could be produced. But the sudden development of the shell results in a corresponding fragility. Certain areas become exceedingly weak. Problematically, one of these areas is the head carapace. Okay, so we're going to have to remember that in case we uh, encounter some of those guys later down the line. The head is apparently weak compared to the rest of the shell. Uh, this lab we are going to. 
Were they pursuing the same research? It would certainly help to find data and samples that would help us in our research. June 19th. The day is finally approaching. I am growing more anxious. The Raccoon City newspapers and TV stations are full of reports about the bizarre murders in the suburbs. It can't be the virus, can it? If it is... No, I can't think of that now. I have to concentrate on this investigation and make sure it goes smoothly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the virus from what we know from previous games. <laughs> Can we investigate this corpse? This poor guy must have been attacked in his sleep. His body is covered in slime. And I don't see anything else of significance in the room. Oh, ink ribbon. Where the heck did I see that from? Uh, is that just in somebody's coat? Tiny tailored suit, there's nothing in the pockets. So where the heck did I pick up that ink ribbon from? Um begin to regret cancelling that now because now I'm probably not going to be able to find it again. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> right, let's check out this next room. Couldn't have been this glitching through the wall, could it? Find it a bit weird that there would be uh, two ink ribbons in uh, in two rooms right next to each other. <laughs> ah, good old green herbs. Everybody should know what they're used for. If you're familiar with the Resident Evil series, which I think will be very few of you. Uh, handgun ammo. Just uh, your classic healing items, the green herbs. Investigation orders. Stained with blood, some sections are illegible. Eight miles north of Raccoon City in the Arclay Mountains lies our, lies our company's management training facility. It was shut down years ago. Now we are conducting a preliminary study into the reopening of the facilities. First investigation unit is already on site and opening the investigation. I want you, to, I want your team to provide support. The following orders are William, Bur William Bark and ourselves. A to unit. The rest is torn and unreadable. Okay. Anything else of interest in here? Um, uh, typewriter for save point. Uh, no, we won't. We'll save our ink ribbon for now. Can't believe I have to put ink ribbons all over again. <laughs> Anybody that's played uh, the classic Res Evils knows the pain of not having one handy when you need to save. <laughs> right, so let's see. Uh, all blocked off with uh, crates. I'll look out these windows. No, it's not going to give me any information if I look out the windows. And it's locked and can't be opened. The door reads Conductor's Office. Okie doke. Uh, yeah. As soon as I pick that item, I bet he's going to wake up and try to kill me, isn't he? Can I, uh, preempt that? And, uh, nope. So there's a waste of a bullet. Never mind. Right, uh, this train employee's corpse has been brutally torn apart. He's holding something. Take the train key. Yes, please. Uh... Who's this? Well, he doesn't appear to be zombie, at least. Billy. Lieutenant Cohen. So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? You're the prisoner that was being transferred for execution. You were with those soldiers outside. Oh, I see. You're with stars. Well, no offense, honey, but your kind doesn't seem to want me around, so I'm afraid our little chat time is over. Wait! You're under arrest! No thanks, dollface. I've already worn handcuffs. I could shoot, you know. <laughs> oh, boy. Edward! Oh. Are you alright? Well, what's going to be a zombie or something? Rebecca, the, the forest is 
full of zombies and monsters. Zombies and monsters. Uh, uh. Oh, that definitely didn't look like a, a, a yeah a zombie dogs. Not a fan of these guys. Um, let's see, let's run back this way. No, I don't want to click on that. Let go. Right, we'll hang back here. And oh. Oh, I hit the wrong button for the shoot! Oh, crap. Uh, any more of yours? Oh, God. That wasn't a good idea. Messed up my camera angle, so I couldn't turn the shooting type. Right. I think we're safe now. Now, I don't suppose our buddy has anything on him. Uh, Edward, you were so happy just a few hours ago. He's holding something. Aha, yes, I'll happily take more handgun ammo. Especially with uh, my terrible accuracy. <laughs> um, right, let's see. Head back through here, I guess. And we should probably have a look at that uh, key that we picked up, see if we can get any clues from it. Oh, but wait, we need to take care of this guy first. Um... I'll say the aiming isn't so great in this game. It doesn't seem like there's any frames between the uh, between chest height and head height. Ah, this isn't good. Get off me. No, I know you're still not dead yet, so I'm waiting right here, buddy. Alright. Let's uh, reload that. And I think you're dead, although you're still twitching. I know then the first Res Evil game. Uh, that's my map. There was a button that you could press to uh, squash the skulls, crush the skulls, so that uh, you knew 100% that they were dead. Mm, it's locked. Um, uh, it's locked. Okay. I guess we we were going to have a look at our uh, key, weren't we? Which button are we looking at? Uh, square. Uh, examine. Uh. Dining car, 760, 704. Doesn't seem anything uh, particularly unusual about it. Uh, can we zoom in on this? Uh, trying all my buttons. No, doesn't seem to be LB. Ah, right, that's how you zoom in. The LB and RB. Or in my case, L1 and R1. <laughs> Wait, six ink ribbons? <laughs> I thought you only got one. <laughs> Uh, through the window you see a broken ladder. It's of no use right now. Okay. Let's uh, check up here. Oh, another green herb. That's good. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. Oh, oh I can't carry it right now. Uh, okay, I guess we'll leave it. My health is uh, still more or less full. Fine status. Even though I've taken some damage, there's an antique style phone. The line has been cut, rendering it useless. Okay, uh, wow, uh, lots of uh, eggs. They look like some kind of eggs. A puddle of slime has formed around them. Okay, uh, I really don't want to leave that green herb behind, but I don't really need to use the ones I've already got at the moment. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll end up coming back here, although I'm not entirely confident of that. Right. Uh, go through here. This is Rebecca. Over. Enrico! Hello! Can you read me? Please respond. Rebecca, I can hear you. Now listen up. We've obtained detailed information on the fugitive from a document found in the wrecked wagon. Billy Cullen killed as many as 23 people. Over. 23 people? We have also confirmed that he was institutionalized, so keep your guard up. Can you hear me, Rebecca? Over. Stay alert, Rebecca. He wouldn't think twice before killing you. Enrico! Captain! Hello? Hello? 
23 people left, so uh, is he some kind of mass murderer, or is he just uh, just a regular... Whoa! Um... Right, that was three shots at uh, chest height. Try and remember that in the future so that I can uh, better manage my ammo supplies. Now let's see. Um, was it? No, it was square to get my menu up. Um, how do I change a circle? Uh, files. Players manual. Don't really want to look at that. Uh, court order for transportation. Not sure where I got this from, but uh, we haven't read it. Court order for transportation 1598A7635. Prisoner name Billy Quinn. ID number D1036. Former Second Lieutenant Marine Corps. Age 26. Height 5 foot 9. Weight 163 pounds. Transfer destination Regarfon Base. Okay, so he was in the military at least. Convic convicted of first degree murder. Court martialed and sentenced to death by the 0703rd Military Tribunal. Sentenced to be carried out upon arrival. Samuel Regan, Commander, Dunnell Marine Base. Okay. So he's been sentenced to death. Uh, investigation orders. Uh, Alright, ah, I think we've read this one, haven't we? Uh, yeah, we've read that one. And Passenger's Diary, I think we also read this one as well. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty certain we've read that one. And, as I said, I don't really need to look at the player manual. It just tells you a whole bunch of controls and stuff. Um, options, map, don't really need to look at the map. Uh, Straightforward for a train, obviously. And partner, which we can't select just yet for some reason, but we'll uh, find out about that later, I suppose. Um... Yeah, I'm still... Wow, 55 bullets? Um, I've got enough to take down a small army at the moment. <laughs> right, uh, let's keep going. Use the dining car key. You don't seem to need this key anymore. Throw it away. Yeah, I suppose so. I'm trusting your game. <laughs> It's going to be dangerous from here on in. Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Listen, little girl, if you haven't noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train. And I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. <laughs> All right, Miss Do-It-Yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? Alright, uh, let's get this letter. Notice the supervisors. When closing the dining car, supervisors are asked to switch off the automatic doors after ensuring all staff have vacated the car. The main automatic door power switch is located on the roof of the fifth car. Inspections will take place when the train is garaged. After inspections are complete, use the ladder at the rear of the second floor of the dining car. Umbrella Core Maintenance Department. Okie doke. Um, let's see, what's up these stairs? And uh, my voice seems to be breaking slightly here. Hopefully that's not going to continue. <laughs> Right, uh, yeah, happily take more bullets. Can we go through there? Uh, it's locked from the other side. Um, you know, I'm going to uh, quickly check that door on the ground floor first, actually. Right, uh, Looks like an automatic door, there's no power now, so it won't open. Right, so that's the door that was talking about, uh, I suppose. That needs to be opened from the roof. Bit of a uh, stupid place to put a door switch, I suppose, but uh, okay. Um, 
Excuse me, sir. Sir. Okay. Those slugs seem to have been going towards her. Who is that guy? Uh. What's going on? Who's controlling the train? Go and check out the first engine car. Listen, we've got to cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't... Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being worm bait. All right. You just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these with you. Oh, even more bullets. <laughs> if you find anything, give me a call, all right? Player's manual 2, character switching, can switch control between the two lead characters, Rebecca and Billy, and use their different abilities to progress through the game. Uh, yeah, control my partner, the partner character, Jerry moves independently, but you can use right stick to control them yourself. Um, I was going to send instructions to the character, so both team characters move independently, team partner follows my character. Uh, oh god, this might be a pain in the backside to figure out. <laughs> Uh, press Y at the status screen. Changing items. Uh, Alright, can combine herb related items. Weak defense can use a mixing set to combine chemicals. Billy uh, cannot combine herbs. Strong offense and can push many large objects. Uh, wait, both the main and partner characters will die if they take too much damage. Uh, okay. We should always keep an eye on their condition. Uh, partner being attacked in a different room will call for help over the radio. If your partner does call, go to help as quickly as possible. Some puzzles can not be solved by one character. Okay, it's fairly straightforward stuff, I think. Um, so, oh wow, this is weird. Being able to control and move the right stick. <laughs> Right, uh, we're coming in on the 30 minute mark, so we're going to uh, go and find wherever that typewriter was and uh, get a quick save. Now I think it was through this door and then through the door afterwards into the next room. Hopefully uh, the zombies don't respawn. <laughs> Stay dead. Right, where was the typewriter? Oh, great, they're coming back again. Still hear sounds. I think there might be another one back here still. Nope. Seems to be good. Oops. 
And I think it was this room here that had the typewriter, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, yep, there we go. Uh, yep, record data. Successful. Right, and uh, we'll leave that here for this episode, and we'll see you guys next time.